Namaste. Good morning. Today I want to respond to a question Dan had in a previous video, but more than that, I actually want to chat with you today about what depression is and how you can deal with it, and even more than that, how you can regain vision for your life. So I want to start with depression. I believe Dan's, I believe your question, Dan, was um, what, that you're facing lots of boredom and you've lost vision for your life. And I want to just respond to that because that sounds like a kind of a depressed state. I've been through lots of states of consciousness and of being, some of which were very meditative states. I was fully at peace and yet didn't really seem to care whether I was going somewhere or what I was doing, but I was fully at peace. The outside world, it kind of looked like the person had been shrinking away. The person that they knew, Silas, was shrinking away. And in essence, it was, but I was very okay with it. Depression, in its most simple form, and I experienced this in like 2003, 2004, 2005, one of those years, I don't remember, they all blend together, but Depression in its most simple form is the avatar, this body and mind that you believe that you are, saying, I want the fuck out. I'm tired of playing this character. And it's really a call to your inner man to enter into a place of deep rest. Now, the way to do this, the way out is always in, is to realize that you are not the character or characters that you've been playing. I can tell you right now, in those months and ten about ten months of my life was spent in a, what felt like deep darkness and depression and not caring and felt pointless. I was bored out of my mind, and yet I didn't want to do anything. I had zero vision for my life or for the world as a whole. I just went through the motions, and it was only in um, realizing that I was not the body and mind, that I was not this character that I was playing, but that I could create whatever character I wanted to play. And today you can create whatever character you want. What character do you want to create? And maybe you don't have vision at this moment for that character. You don't have to. You just simply need to realize that the one that is depressed is not you. The one that is depressed is the idea or the belief that you've been carrying around about yourself. And this can be let go of and another thing come in and replace it. I call this personality sculpting. You can, just like you can sculpt your body and you can sculpt and renew your mind, you can also sculpt the personality. But this takes a deep awareness of what you truly are to begin to play with and sculpt that personality. And so, Dan, I just want to encourage you right now to simply step into this moment with me and realize in this moment, it's perfect. This is Eden. This is Nirvana. You might not be able to realize it. You may not. You might know it mentally and not have realized it yet, but I'm telling you this moment is Nirvana. This moment is Eden. This moment is perfect and all its beauty. Step into this moment. Here, in this place, there is no person. Here, in this place, there is no you, no believed self, no... Uh, identity. This is your true nature. And now from this, look at the body, look at the mind, look at the personality and this visionless or bored thing that you believe that you are. Now you can, in this place of essence, you can look at and see that person that you've been believing you are. Why is this person confused? Why is this one, this one that I've been calling me for all these years, why is he bored? Why is he depressed? Why, 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 why? You can ask the question, but more than that, you can actually go, this not me. And now I can come back into this place of awareness in this moment and say, okay, what would I like? What would I like to feel in this body and mind? What would I like to create in this body and mind? And then from this place, you begin to form or create the vision for this body, the vision for this mind, the vision for this person, this avatar, and as a whole. 
and you step right outside of that depression, outside of that boredom, because you are here, and in the here and the now, there ever is boredom. The mind can be still and very active, or both simultaneously even. But you step in this place, and now I can create. So everything that we see in this world that I call a playground, so when I refer to the playground, I'm talking about the world. Everything that we see in this beautiful playground, in this beautiful world, is at our disposal and is here in as energetic form for us to create and play with, and that includes your body and mind. And the body and mind that you are specifically animating and consciousness can be shifted and changed. It is continually changing whether you like it or not. You might as well be intentionally involved in its transformation and its metamorphosis. So I would encourage you step back and view it. That's where it starts. This is the first step to be able to step back into awareness, pure awareness, and look at the body. So go into your true self. What do I want? And you can be fully content and satisfied with nothing. And this place is fully content and satisfied with nothing. But now in this place, I have the power to create. As long as I'm identified as the avatar, I will feel powerless to create. And I will feel burnt out because I'm always trying to get something more. But in this place of pure awareness, as essence, I can view it and I can begin in a powerful way to create and to play and to shape and form. I talk about a lot of, about this in life artistry classes. Uh, if you have questions about that, drop them in the comments below. Any questions you have for me in general, not even about this, but in general, just drop them in the comments below. Dan, I hope this helps. And for all of you, if you are dealing with depression, I'm here for you. I love you. You don't have to deal with it. You, There is hope. There is a way through it. And um, yeah, it's time to let the avatar fucking out. It's time to let it go and let, let go of that depression that's uh, tied to it. So I love you so much. Love you so much. I'll talk to you tomorrow.